Lost track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. This is the last full day here in Norway. Tomorrow we'll be heading towards the airport and the day after that, really early in the morning at 6 a.m. we'll fly home. I think it's time to give you my thoughts on Norway and what is happening with all this landscape photography here. Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here Chilling with my friends for another year I would walk away from the spotlight for the good life I had a really great time here in Norway and it was really fun and interesting to photograph the landscapes in this area of, uh, of the country, in the Lofoten Islands. The thing that was my main concern is that I knew the place was crowded with photographers and I knew the, uh, there are some iconic places that are over photographed. And one of my main goals was to find new places or find new angles or find new ways of approaching uh, the same subject. There are places that you can go and photograph, but there are others that, uh, that don't. If uh, you're looking on Google Earth, for example, you will be fooled and you will be thinking that all the surrounding hills with coats are hikeable and you can go up really easy and photograph well during winter when they're covered with snow these really big and impressive mountains are uh, extremely difficult to hike you, you need a lot of technical skills and uh, uh, a good uh, physical condition and they are also extremely dangerous and when there is no snow on them they are just difficult to hike and dangerous <laughs> Send my best friend an apologetic text, he says to come over Well the whole damn town has been waiting for the day when you would come back here There was dancing and talking and steaks on the grill and I think that I will be alright And my ex from high school still looks just the same as she did back in 2009 I couldn't wait till the morning Let's never put the night on night this is, for example, a group that came here and even though they saw us here, this is my composition line, very obvious, and they are sitting right over there in front of us. And this is the way things are in Norway. The only thing that I could do now is just go there and tell them. But the common sense is really missing from uh, some photographers. That thing that happened on the beach, it wasn't the first time that happened. And I think this is the worst thing about some photographers here in Norway. They lack the most basic and common human skills, not photographic skill. This is human skill. The fact that you as a photographer respect other photographers. This is, I think, the, the thing that is missing in Norway uh, at some photographers. Also, there are some lurkers or uh, stalkers, I can say. <laughs> These are the photographers that don't have a clue of what is really happening. And they are just going around the place, looking at well, what other photographers are doing. And the minute they are leaving that spot, they go and mimic the exact position. <laughs> they were, there were three photographers, three photographers that waited to, for me to leave from that place. <laughs> and they acted like they were kind of checking out the sky or something like this and they went in the same place crouched in the same position and did uh, I don't know if what they did it, this is this is I think the the bad part of landscape photography in Norway when you're coming here you come with the idea that you will find beautiful landscapes beautiful nature and beautiful people doing photography but 80 percent i think maybe maybe i maybe i overreact but in my in my opinion 80 percent of photographers have turned this craft photography that it's about creativity and expressing yourself in an act of duplication or copying or uh, placing their, themselves in front of others or some of them walk with their phones in their hands trying to identify the exact position from where an Instagram post 
uh, was shot and it's I don't know what what the solution could be because it's hard to go away from these places I told you it's n the solution to go up on these mountains and photograph from another angle it's not it's not an easy task but the place is big you can find a different composition you don't have to go in front of other people's you don't have to duplicate other people's position or photos <sighs> so in a way i'm a little bit disappointed by the behavior of some people here in norway but on the other hand norway has impressed me with its landscapes in a very positive way and i'm going to organize of course uh, my own workshop and my own photo tour here where i plan to do exactly this when we go to a location that everybody goes let's try and find a different composition and a different photo than all than all the others are, uh, are doing you can also further support me by buying one of my editing courses the link is in the description of this video and until next time keep on photographing because it's the only way to get better